how to use QuickBooks Online for beginners. Hey guys, welcome back. Today, we will be doing a quick look at QuickBooks Online, which is a online accounting software that will allow you to sync with your bank. You can add multiple different integrations as well and manage all of your finances all in one place. Plus, you can access QuickBooks from your phone, laptop, a tablet, whatever you want, and you can easily access your financial information at the click of a button. Now, the best part about using QuickBooks Online is that you can keep all of your receipts, so you can basically keep track of all of your expenses, of all of your, uh, you know, income that you're getting, your revenue, your profits. Plus, you also have open wallets, you can run reports in seconds, and with their low pricing, you can easily, easily get started for free and then choose a plan that best fits your needs. So you can even track your GSD and VAT, your insights and reports, and also connect directly to your bank account. Now, to get started with QuickBooks Online, the first thing you want to do is head on over to quickbooks.intuit.com. This is their global website, and from here on the top right, you can just click on login or sign up and click on QuickBooks Online. So once you click on QuickBooks Online, you can choose to sign in or create an account. If you're new, you can just click on create an account. But if you already have an account, just sign in. I already have one, so we're just signing in. Just proceeding forward from here. Now, after that, you will have to enter your active company. Now, I have this company over here. I can open this up. You can set up your own new company, obviously, on QuickBooks, depending on the size of your company and depending on the basic needs of your company. You're going to vary in the plan that you opt for in QuickBooks, and we're going to go over the pricing at the end of this video so I can show you guys what it's like to opt for different plans on QuickBooks. So I'm just going to close this for now but you guys can see this is the quickbooks application dashboard so this is what quickbooks online is going to look like you have your basic dashboard and then on the left you have a simple navigation panel from here you can do bookkeeping get paid set up customers and leads set up your payroll taxes and also integrate other applications to make it more efficient so you have multiple different categories you have things like cash flow life plan bulk deleter advisor ebay connector so you can really manage your sales even directly from quickbooks now if you take a look at the bookmark section you can also manage your bank transactions and for that you do have to link your bank account obviously you can connect your bank account or credit card to get started and you can log all of your transactions now if you click on new on the top section you have multiple different options first off you have customers suppliers employees and other now the first and most important part of setting up your QuickBooks platform is to set up your customers. So if you have recurring customers, you can import them. If you have a previous CSV file, you can import that. If you don't have pre-existing lists, just click on add customer manually. From here, you're going to enter the basic information. So the customer display name, which might be um, Allison, and then the title might be Miss and then I can enter the company name and you can add multiple different employees from the same company that you might be working with. You might be working with them in multiple different faucets of your business, multiple different sections. So let's say one person you're working with to get your limestone, the other person you might be working with to get, you know, a different kind of marble. So you can add multiple different contacts. So it's easier for you to manage your business transactions with each individual and their company. So let's say this person belongs to Marblade, and then you have, you know, the other fields, you can fill them out. You have addresses, you have notes and attachments. You can add any previous attachment. So you can have reference files, you can have previous, uh, you know, transactional history, previous deal history. You can add all of that, and this will only be available to your team that has access to QuickBooks. Below that, you have payment systems. You can add a default primary way to pay a specific supplier or customers, and then you have your taxes. So I'm just going to save this over here, and you can just save it however you want. I'm just having some issues with my account, so I'm going to skip this for now. 
But after that, you also have your marketing. You can connect to MailChimp absolutely for free on QuickBooks Online to boost your accounting, to boost the overall efficacy of your business with email marketing. Email marketing is going to help you in not only just, you know, doing basic email marketing with MailChimp, but you can also create forms, landing pages, and even websites to further enhance your business. Now, after that, you have Get Paid and Pay. You can set up your suppliers in the pay section and you can see you will have your suppliers from the entirety of your business, those that have been paid, those that have an open bill, and those you still have to pay and that are going overdue. So to add a new supplier, simply click on new supplier on the top right and fill in the basic information. You have your name, location, the notes and attachments, and the payment details as you would add on a customer. Now. You also have get paid over here you're going to add your products or services that you are selling to your customers so you can add your products and services over here simply click on add a product or service and you have two types of options so you have products that you buy or sell and don't need to track quantities of then you also have services so let's say you provide a service, let's say you provide um, psychotherapy or cognitive behavioral therapy or you do something like providing photography. So that is a service and you're going to bill that by hours. The billing of these things usually is different and that is why we have different categorical sections to separate these. So you can choose a specific service. So let's say I have a service of maybe mobile fixing whatever it might be. It might be mobile screen replacement. So I'm going to make it slightly more specific. And then you can add a SKU. If you're using SKUs to keep track of your stock, you can choose a category and you can add categories of the services and products as well, but I don't have any. So I'm just going to skip that. Then you have the description that's going to appear on your sale form and then the price. So it's going to be a hundred and you can maybe have your sales and this is going to be a part of just you know, sales. So I can add that over here. And just like that, you're going to have a new product. You also have time overviews where you can monitor time directly on QuickBooks. This is a premium feature on QuickBooks that is going to allow you to do time tracking as well as bookkeeping. This is something that I don't find to be the most uh, efficient way of doing time tracking because time tracking is more so for multiple different uh, employees that you might have. They might want to log their time. And doing that on QuickBooks is not going to be the easiest way to do it. So I don't think that it's as worthwhile as some of the other accounting features are. Now, if we go on to the actual pricing of QuickBooks, if you choose to pay monthly, you can get started with only $9 a month. They are currently having a 50% discount for the first three months of using QuickBooks, where you get basic features like GST and VAT, connecting your bank, sending invoices and codes. Then you have your essentials plan starting at $13.50 a month where you have more features such as managing bills and payments, multi-currency, time tracking, and for three users, and you can use your accountant or add your accountant as well. Then you have the plus version, which allows you to uh, set up recurring transactions and bills. You can also track your project profitability. So if your business venture is going to be profitable or not, you can track inventory, manage your budgets, and this plan starts at $19 a month. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel, and I will catch you guys in the next video.